Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Con Ingress Controller. Let's get started. First of all, let me open my terminal. Then I will open Tmux and create a cluster locally. I'm using Kind to create my local cluster with one node, and also I'm installing Metal LB um, for local load balancing. Next, I'm going to open my browser. Go to my blog. This is the blog post I'm going to use. Before we start, I would like to give you a little bit of information about Con Ingress Controller. Unlike Nginx and Traffic, in the Con port, there will be two containers. The first container is the Con container, which is responsible for processing all the client requests to upstream adding authentication, adding caching, things like that. The other container is the ingress controller container. This container is, is responsible for watching um, the whole cluster and find um, the associated um, Kubernetes resources, convert those resources into con entities and um, push the configuration to con. Okay, so let me just um, double check my cluster. It's up and running. So let's start uh, the demo. So the first step is to install con. As you can see here, I'm, I'm using the 2.5 version of con here. Uh, I believe the latest one is 2.6. Also, I am enabling the admin API here. So I'm going to show you the admin API part later. And because it's Helm 3, so I don't need to install the CRD with the release. Um, the Helm will take care of it. Um, the next, I'm going to open a new tab and then open K9S. All right, let's just wait for it to start. That's pretty quick. Let's have a look. So by default, the proxy services will be a load balancer service. Um, so um, Metal LP will assign an external IP here. Let's have a try. Yep, it's up and running and the con is 2.5.1. I have also assigned a domain name to this IP address, so I can access that at proxy.li.kas. It's the same thing. Okay, so um, the next, I'm going to install a um, demo app. So I'm going to use a simple HTTP bin um, as my um, upstream services. Uh, the first step is to create a deployment. And then I'm going to expose this deployment with a service name, HTTP bin hyphen SVC. And the next I'm going to create an ingress object to route traffic at the path tests to HTTP bin services. Um, okay, let's have a look. All right, so just need to wait for HTTP bin to be up and running. Um, I'm using the imperative way of um, creating these deployments and services because it's easier for demo. Um, you can also um, create your YAML file with all the de deployment services and ingress. Um, it's up to you. Let's go back. So if we curl again, proceed. Uh, you can see there will be a 404 not found here. Um, but um, we want to know if this is coming from con or coming from upstream. To find it out, we can add a con debug header. As you can see, we've got the route ID, service ID here, which means um, uh, this request match a con route. So this response is coming from the upstream. Uh, so if we go to httpbin.org, Tag, we are going to get the same response because HTTP bin doesn't have a um, endpoint for slash test. Um, so what we want to do is to um, remove the um, test here when you proxy the request to the upstream, right? So there are two ways of doing it um, with annotation and CRD. I'm going to show you the annotation way first. So the first annotation we are going to use is the street path. So um, I'm applying these annotations on our ingress, the newly created ingress. So let's go back to here, ingress. Um, there is no annotation now. So if we apply that, 
check again, there will be street path that's true. So if we go here again, we should see we're not getting the 404 anymore. And if we go to anything, we can see that uh, the, up, the request upstream receive doesn't have the test here, right? Because uh, that pass has been stripped. Uh, we can also check that with um, admin API. So let me quickly port forward my admin API. So let me just remove this to 8001. Be proxy. Okay, let's have a look. No problem, this is our route. As you can see, the strip path is true now. Um, so basically, whatever configurations you have done with annotations and CRDs, it will be reflected back to the con entities here. Uh, let's move on to the next annotation, which is um, the protocol and protocols annotation. By default, um, the route object will use both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. We can use these um, annotations to limit the access to HTTPS only. So um, let's check again, so HTTPS. So if we have a look this again, we can see it's asking us to use the HTTPS protocol and we are getting a 426 um, response call. Normally we want to redirect the HTTP to HTTPS with some other uh, redirect code like 301, 302 or 308, things like that. Um, so we are going to use another um, annotations here to change the status code from 426 to 302. Let's do that. And if we try again, as you can see, we are getting a 302 status code now and we've got a location header. So if we follow that header um, to with L, it will tell us, okay, so the certificate is not verified because it's a self-signed certificate. We are adding K here to bypass the security check. So, um, so first, when we reach here, we are getting a 302 and then it will be redirected to the HTTPS of this one, um, sent to upstream. And as you can see here, it's a HTTPS. Um, so let's go to the next annotation, which is the preserve host annotation. So by default, um, the route object will preserve the host of your proxy. Um, we want to turn that off. I will show you the differences. So as you can see, the request we just sent, the host name is proxy.lead.kas, which means the upstream um, um, services knows where um, knows what's the host header this request was originally uh, sent to. So if, if we turn that off, if we send that again, we can see that the host header is um, an IP address. What is the IP address? Let's have a look. That IP address will be the HTTP bin. Um, port IP address here. So it won't show um, the original it's coming from con, right? This is particularly useful when you are using a service mesh like Isio or Akuma. Um, so essentially you want the sidecar to send a request, uh, not con itself, right? All right, so let's move on to the next annotation on ingress, which is the uh, methods. This is quite um, easy to understand. So um, if you take a look at our raw objects, um, by default, it doesn't have any um, methods set here. It will be now, right? Which means it takes all kind of um, requests, um, delete, put, whatever. Um, so sometimes you want to limit access to only get or post. Um, you can use this annotation. So if we do that again with a get request, success with a post request, it's also okay. But if we change that to the pull request, we're going to no route match because um, pull doesn't match the route object, right? So this is very useful. So let's have a look at our ingress object now. As you can see, there are five annotations already. Um, is there a way to um, use just fewer annotations? Yes, you can do the same with the uh, call ingress CRD. Let me show you how. So let's remove the um, current ingress and then create a new one. Um, um, then you can use this con ingress resources to do the same. As you can see here, the method will be post and get, street path true, preserve host false, redirect status code at 302, and protocol will be HTTPS. 
Um, you can save this um, in a YAML file and apply it. I'm going to apply it um, straight away. Um, apply. Okay, so if we try again, as you can see, there is no effect. The reason is that we have not associated this um, uh, resource with our route. So next we will just associate this one to our routes. Let's have a look. We've got one annotation, which is the con hq.con overrides with the um, con ingress resource we just created. Now let's try again. It'll be 404, right? And everything will be the same. Um, try to get, yep, a street path, um, preserve host, and everything. All right, so there are two more unique features for um, for ingress objects here. I'm not going to demo um, in this video. You can go to my blog and have a try yourself. Next, I'm going to show you how to use annotations and um, the same CRDs, call ingress CRDs on a service object. Let's come here. So the first annotation I'm going to show you is the um, protocol um, annotation. So don't confuse this one with the ingress one. That one has an S at the end. This one doesn't. Um, if we go back to here, uh, let's just have a look at the um, service object first. Um, you can see that the protocol is HTTP. We can use the annotations to change that to HTTPS. If we check again, it's HTTPS. So what this um, protocol does on the service is that the uh, protocol we use uh, for con to communicate with the upstream services. Um, for this case, I'm going to change change it back to HTTP. Um, I need to change the annotations here. So let's go to the service, edit, and change it to HTTP. Okay. Cool, no problem. So if we do again, it should still work. All right. Um, so the next annotation will be the path. So as you can see here, I'm passing this anything path here um, to get the client request to the upstream. Um, if I don't want to include anything to all my requests, I can um, add this path to the service object, which is here. Currently, it's at the root level. Let's apply that annotation to the service object, HTTP and SVC. We have a look at our service now. It is anything. So if we do this again, it will be anything, anything. So we can simply remove this now um, and it can be anything, right? So this is very convenient when you need to pass a path um, to all your requests like I did here. Uh, we can do the same with um, con ingress um, uh, CRDs. So uh, let me just quickly delete and recreate this service. And then um, I'm going to do the same as before to um, use this con ingress um, CRD. Um, so protocol will be HTTP, power will be anything. Um, let's just do kubectl, apply. Yep, um, and now we also need to associate this with our service object. So if we do again, uh, you can see it's working fine. Um, if we have a look at the uh, service objects, um, it's um, get the anything and got a protocol here. Um, it's all coming from this CRD. All right, so if we have a look at the service object here, uh, we've got one annotations to do two things. Um, on my post, there are two more annotations you can apply on the service object. The first one is the client cert annotation, which you can pass a client certificate to upstream services if your upstream services require a mutual TLS. The other feature you can enable with con ingress controller on the service is the health check. So here is the official documentation. So con can be used to do the health check, active health checks and circuit breakers um, of the uh, upstream health. There are a lot of parameters you can, you can use. Uh, for this feature. Um, so you can uh, essentially use this um, con ingress CRD 
um, to configure your um, your health checks and then associate this health check uh, ingress resources to your service and it, it would do the job. Um, if you are interested using the health check and circuit breakers, please um, take a look at this official post. Um, it will tell you a lot of information. Because it might take a lot of time to demo the health check and client server, I'm going to leave these two features uh, with you if you are interested using them. So that's all I want to show you today. Um, if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. I will try my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.